Good morning, Pastor Bob Vale here. I'm here to give you a daily devotion. Um, I think it's February the 3rd. And so today I want to talk about something that we all use, salt, every day. We use it for a lot of different reasons. Um, we put it on our food um, to give it taste. And salt has a very unique taste to it, but it brings out the flavor in things. Uh, we also use salt um, on uh, ice this winter to melt and give us safety when we walk or when we drive uh, down the road. It's also a preservative um, to preserve certain uh, foods, particularly meat, to last longer. And the Bible talks about us as Christians being the salt of the earth. And when we think of people who are the salt of the earth, we think of people who are good, honest, humble, meek. And they always do the right thing. Uh, there's a person in our church, Roy Gropp, who I believe as a teacher for all his life and as a committed Christian that he was indeed the salt of the earth. Uh, Jesus said this in Matthew chapter 13. He said, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. And so we are to be the salt of the earth, to make a difference in the world. If we see something wrong, we are to make it right. We are to make the world a better place by our Christian walk. And so um, I want to encourage you in your Christian faith to always be that honest person, that good person, that person that does the right thing, to be labeled as a Christian who is the salt of the earth. And so I want to watch a, a video, us to watch a video real quick that tells a little bit more about the history of salt um, in the Bible. And so let's watch this together. You know, I find it so interesting that so many phrases from the Sermon on the Mount have made it into our everyday language. Do unto others, judge not, turn the other cheek, and so forth. Well, how about this one? What do we mean when we use the expression, well, he's a real salt of the earth kind of guy? Well, we mean that he's simple, honest, humble, hardworking, and trustworthy. Well, this comes from the Sermon on the Mount when Jesus says to his followers, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. Matthew 5, 13. Jesus here was using salt as a metaphor. In the ancient world, salt was a vitally important commodity. It was used for everything from seasoning and preserving food to bartering and ceremonial offerings. Salt gave taste to everything it touched. Nearby Magdala was known to everyone in the Galilee region, a town where salt was a vital part of life. Now, salt would have been a special metaphor for people living in the region familiar with the town of Magdala. Now, these ruins have been uncovered from the time of Jesus. Now, Magdala is three miles north of Tiberias, here on the northwestern coast of the Sea of Galilee. It was home to Mary Magdalene, who we'll meet later in the Gospel narratives. This town of Magdala was also known for its fish processing. They've uncovered ruins from an ancient fish market that you can see behind me. Fish harvested throughout the Sea of Galilee were hauled up here to the town of Magdala. In fact, you can even see an active archeological dig exposing where these fish were hauled. Now, they were processed and preserved with salt for transportation throughout the entire Roman Empire. And so popular were these salted fish from Magdala that the Romans called this town Tarikiae, which means salted fish. So now, when you hear someone use the term salt of the earth, you can impress them with your knowledge of this ancient backstory. So you've got that going for you, which is nice. So I hope that you've learned a little bit, maybe about the salt. Um, that you could be the salt of the earth. I remember when I was in the Holy Land, we went to the Dead Sea, and it's so salty that when you jump in, you can't sink. You just kind of float. And on the shore, the, the water keeps um, hitting up against the shore and creates these huge blocks of ice. I mean, I mean of salt that looks like ice. And so you can uh, use that, I guess, for um, 
uh, any salt purpose uh, that you need. But uh, so the lesson of today is be the salt of the earth um, as Jesus asks us to do. So have a great day and I uh, look forward to seeing you next time I see you. God bless.